What's up, the squad? Back with another video. I see the title is going down. Make sure y'all hit that like with the subscribe button for me, please. Y'all see it in the title. Definitely amazing. Let's check this video out, y'all. Hi, this is Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and I'm here. What I can say about this, this whole video is that I absolutely enjoy the fact that things are finally, it's, it's, it's a, a, a breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? I haven't been seeing nothing, nothing from, and, and the crazy thing is like, I, I know I, I might get hate for it, but I haven't seen, you know, before the election, anything talked about, you know, about these things with Kamala, with the Biden administration. I'm talking about even a year ago or two years and just seeing this, it makes me feel better. Like things are, you know, things will change. Oh, it feels good. That RK Jr. and Trump coming together. It's an amazing thing. It's it's and not even not only RFK Jr. You know, it's other it's other people. You know that it, it just shows you that it's the care. You know, it's not so much of all oh, just because this person is. You know, this person is more so of making America amazing, making America great. You know, making America. It just man, I'm I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's something that we obviously need. You know, we definitely need and I don't see how a lot of people aren't agreeing with what they got going on ever since he got elected. It feels like, bro, I know I, ooh, I might I might I might get some hate for this, too. But ever since he was elected, y'all, it seemed like there's more stuff that's, you know, talk that's talked about of, of, of getting done. You know, necessarily, you know, it's it's obviously a lot that needs to get done, but it feels like it's it's going a step forward. They're saying things that that's obviously going to get done, things is going to change, this, that, and the other, doing really more than Biden administration in you know the past four years. So I absolutely love it. I tell you that. Then I seen this. Um, it's uh rfk jr just started uh policies for people um this is on uh wall street apes i think reposted this or they posted it um but uh i'm gonna I'm play this so she can explain rfk jr just started one of the most american things i've ever seen it is so cool it's called policies for the people it is a direct line to team trump where americans can go and propose certain policies that they think would be beneficial to the american people and then Americans get to vote on it. Let me show you how it works. Bro, so go to the website. if this ain't fair, I don't know what else. Like, I, I absolutely don't know what people are thinking. What? Oh, Trump won. We're doing. We're we're this. We like. Come on, bro. This this right here is amazing, bro. It's amazing just for the simple fact. RFK Jr. Um, and Trump are coming together with this, and you know, getting things fixed, getting things done. This policies for people, having a people vote, trying to fix some things, and. I, I love that. You know, I absolutely love that. It's not just, you know, it, it's more of uh, the engagement with, you know, America. And that's what makes it amazing. I'm telling you. You sign up for an account and then you can start proposing bills and voting for some like single issue bills for Congress, term limits for senators and representatives. There's also one of my favorites, ban artificial food dyes. There's some other ones down here that I think are really cool. Insurance for holistic health. Forbid TV drug commercials. You can also go to the left over here and go to different categories. I clicked on health and then you can find all the different ones on health and you can vote and also propose. Without even being elected yet, this administration is giving the American people their voices See back. See what I mean? So cool and give See what I mean? And that that right there is just amazing. You know, obviously, uh he ended up Trump ended up winning. And this is something that's amazing because it just it 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 does you know like she said it gives a, a it gives a voice for the American people and that's literally what's amazing you know I feel like even um and that's that's the thing I feel like this is something that obviously is is very smart I haven't seen nothing like this so it, it it's it's amazing that they're doing this um I obviously think that. This is something that people, and I'm glad I'm showing it because this is something that people should definitely look into doing. It's, it's policies for people online, um, because it just it, it it goes and shows you know what America needs. You know what let the people speak, 
And that's what's amazing. You know, I, I, I absolutely support that. Um, and I'm glad that RFK Jr. and Trump are, you know, getting us together. You know, obviously, it's a lot of people supporting them, a lot of people that endorsed them. Um, but RFK Jr. and Trump, they, we definitely, uh, I see this, you know, this topic going into the right direction. Um, obviously, others, but um, one day at a time. I mean, that's that's just what it is. And I absolutely, I, I, I love it. You know, I love, I love seeing this. We got one more video, though. Let's check it out. This is what most Americans innocently put into their bodies these days and most alarmingly into the bodies of their children. And it's no coincidence that Americans die earlier than Canadians or Germans or Italians or Japanese or Koreans or Australians. Yeah, and look at the health spending right here. Look at all of this. Dang. Or most any other comparable country. And it wasn't always that way until the early 1990s. Our life expectancy was the same or better than other developed countries. And then suddenly, more and more Americans began suffering from chronic diseases, from obesity, cancer, diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, heart disease, and all kinds of autoimmune diseases. Our maternal mortality rate soared to the highest of any developed country on Earth. Same with wow. infant mortality. Like the frog in the slowly boiling water, we didn't really notice as we got sicker and sicker. We've grown now to accept chronic disease conditions as normal. But now, in 2024, we're finally waking up to this cataclysm and we're asking ourselves, how in the world did this happen? And I feel like having having a voice like from RFK Jr. talking about this will help a lot of people too because a lot of people accept it. And meaning by a lot of people accepting it to where the fact that you know, they have this attitude to, to where it's like, I don't care. I'm I'm going to still eat this. I don't, I don't care. I'm going to still do this. You know, and constantly I can see like I, I don't want to be a hypocrite because I love candy. You know, I love candy. I love chocolate. Um, now, although, although I, I do, you know, eat healthy in a way, I should say, you know, I eat healthy. Um, I eat a banana, apple, strawberries, blueberries every morning. Don't miss a beat every day when I get up then for dinner. I've baked chicken thighs with red pepper, onions, and salad. This every day, bro. Every day. And then on weekends, either I do it uh one day or two day, um, on the Saturday or Sunday. But you know, sometimes I get tired of salmon. I will have salmon with red pepper, onion, and salad. And then my fruit. This every every day, you know, and I try to to keep myself, you know, focused on those things because I, uh, you know, I do eat chocolate. I do eat candy, you know, and stuff like that. And it's a lot of people that just completely ease back, especially like now in 2024. It's a lot of people like TikTokers and stuff like that, that encourage others to do the same thing as them. And they'll just eat bad. They'll eat a lot. You know, I've seen so many TikTokers that in gain weight just for the same fact. And then you have people in the comments encouraging them to eat more. And it's like, dang, bro, like that is crazy. But a big part of it is our diet. Restaurants that serve contaminated food are fined or shut down. But when it's the government that approves the poisons in our food, a few people. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What is going on, y'all? The government that approves the poisons in our food, a few people very very rich and the toxins end up in every supermarket aisle let me show you what i mean doritos cheez it's captain crunch gummy bears everyone knows that these are junk foods so maybe you wouldn't be too surprised to see that the ingredients include a lot of poisons including a harmful yellow dye called tatrazine or yellow dye number five what you may mm. not know is that this dye was originally made out of the sludge that's left over when you turn coal into coke for blast furnaces it's called coal tar and i've actually sued many big industries for legacy contamination of coal tar all around the country because it's so toxic and it's so harmful to the environment and human beings a century ago it was just an obnoxious industrial byproduct that everybody was trying to figure out ways to get rid of one of the ways that they did that was by paving roads but then a british chemist figured out that the coal tar could be used to derive fabric dye and if fabric mm. dye why not food 
food manufacturers began using it to cover up the discoloration of low quality foods that they wanted to pass off on unsuspecting customers. They didn't know back then that this yellow That's in a honey mustard too? I Tartrazine causes tumors, asthma, developmental delays, neurological damage, ADD, ADHD, hormone disruption, gene damage, anxiety, depression, intestinal mm -hmm. injuries. Well, we know it now. We've known this for decades. That's why tartrazine is heavily restricted in other countries. In some countries, foods with tartrazine have a warning label that it may cause ADHD in children. Today, it's oh, made from wow. petroleum, not coal tar. Either way, it's crazy to add this to your kid's favorite foods. It doesn't even change the flavor. This yellow dye isn't just in junk food. It's in the foods that we consider healthy. So it's look, every so look, is it, it, I feel like it'll help too. Like, is it any... And this is a question for y'all. Is there any way that there's a list of foods that don't have these things or like, you know, brands that don't carry these things or stuff like that? Because I feel like that'll help a lot of people, too. They kid snacks like popcorn, mac and cheese, fruit snacks. It's in sports drinks like Gatorade and so-called vitamin water. It's even added to chicken broth, to corn, to pickles, to mustard Dang. and to yogurt. And so, of course, our kids get sick. And we lovingly feed them chewable vitamins, which have, surprise, tartrazine. And so the cycle continues until the coughs and asthma kick in, at which point you go to pick up some cough syrup. And yeah, you guessed it. You got the same stuff? I've Dang. been eating on tartrazine today, but that's just one. So really, that's something that a lot of people can't even get rid of, too, because you got to think. I ain't even going to lie. Depending on, like, the brands and stuff like that, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. It's people that probably that that can't even afford. Man, I'm telling y'all, bro, this is a great thing that's that's happening because RK Jr. is on top of it, and you got the Trump administration that's about to definitely get some stuff together because, you know, all this stuff is going on and prices is high. Um, people are putting bad things in their body. Man, this is I, I absolutely love this video. These hundred chemical poisons that our health agencies allow into our children's food. I can make a video just like this to talk about Red 40, BHA, BHD, potassium bromate, chemical after chemical, and on and on and on. If just one of them can cause all of these problems, imagine what they're doing in combination. That has never been hey. studied. If we took all of these chemicals out, our nation would get healthier immediately. We'd have fewer sick days. We'd have better focus. We'd have less anxiety. Our kids would learn more. Bro, I got bad sick. anxiety, bro. We'd lose weight. We'd have more energy. We'd. I, I got. I got so much bad anxiety. I don't even like to drive no more, bro. That's how bad my anxiety is. I used to go places. I used to, uh, you know, and I try not to, you know, now, but um, I used to go places, go to car meets, go to cars, all that. None of that no more. Have fewer tumors and longer lives. It's not all dark. Over the past 16 years, the government has banned eight chemical additives that cause cancer, genetic damage, asthma, and many of the other self conditions, as tartrazine does. And you know what's interesting? All eight of those crucial steps forward in our kids' health were taken under President Trump. But the Democrats, who claim to be all about health care, have stood by watching other countries ban these poisons and make our kids sick, asthmatic, hyperactive, and depressed. They left them on every supermarket shelf in America. They even used your tax money to put them in your kid's school lunch. Mm -hmm. So their big food and their big ag daughters probably gave them all that golden handshake and the big money hug. And their big pharma donors probably called them up and thanked them also because now they're going to make billions selling Adderall, Prozac, and rescue inhalers. Enough is enough. President Trump and I are going to stop the mass poisoning of American children. Together, we're going to make America healthy again. Hang on, wow, that's clean, bro. That's clean. Ma. That's how you pronounce that, Ma. Make America healthy again. That's smooth. I love it, though. I love it, and I support it. Um, If anybody got that list or, like, if there's a list or if they can make a list or, like, something like that, that'd definitely help out, definitely share it Um, and all of that, you know, Um, because I feel like that is important. I feel like it really is important um, to, to, to give out a lot of great brands or, 
something of some sort you know i've heard a lot of different other countries people will be on tiktok and stuff and talk about the foods and you know the foods here and i believe it i definitely believe it after rfk jr just explaining all that because that was that was a lot to take in definitely was definitely make sure you hit the like and subscribe button appreciate y'all for everything love y'all about to go chill you know i don't feel good whatsoever but i love y'all if you're not feeling good at home or if you're going through it you stress anything i pray for you i pray that you're all right you're okay and that you have a blessed day um you know tomorrow it's eight o'clock and you know uh just take one step at a time definitely um but much love everybody catch y'all next one